Today I'm going to show you how to paint an Igis defense line. I'll be talking you through it step by step on how you have to paint it to achieve this result. Okay, so let's get started. So you start your Igis defense line by uh, undercoating it with Chaos Black. And I use the Chaos Black spray can. And as you can see it has a nice undercoat. Next up is the, are the base coats. And because we will dry brush this concrete section, uh, we will be painting that first because after the dry brush you will have paint on the sides and be quite useless to paint the sides already if you are going to get them dirty. Um, so for the side I'm going to use uh, Cardon Granite. It's one of the old Citadel colors but I still have them so why not use them. So you paint that on all these concrete sections, both inside as outside. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with those, but uh, I'll have them done by the end of this quick take. So here you have it. I've done all the concrete sections with Caradon Granite, uh, even these bottom sections. It's uh, important not to forget those. Um, so while this is drying, I'll tell you what next I'm going to use. I'm going to use uh, Longbeard Grey to dry paint. As you can see it has weird little texture. But it works really well with um, for dry brushing. I'll also be using the dry brush, medium dry brush. Oh yeah, um, for the other one I use this uh, other little painter's brush because uh, it helps to um, paint large areas because it's bigger and it's also hard enough because as you can see there are sometimes these little um, holes and crevices that you have to go into and with um, I paint quite hard on that so if you would nor uh, use a normal brush it would not be very good for the brush uh, so yeah when it's dry I'm going to start dry brushing it um, so after waiting for it to dry and after a recharge of the battery because it was quite dead, um, we're ready to start dry brushing. So I'm going to use um, long beard grey, and yeah. So for dry brushing, you um, see this is already too much paint. You have to put off most of the paint until you don't have much paint left, and then you start light. Ah, oh, see too much paint already. Uh, oh, what's this? Um, so yeah, I sometimes do it off my thumb just for ease. You start going over an area lightly, like this. You won't see any immediate effects, although you do see it on camera. It's not that much in uh, real life. Uh, yeah, so you do this quite some. Yeah, too much again. Quite often. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna really bore you again with the whole thing, but uh, this is sort of how you should do it. Uh, if you're a better dry brusher, let me uh, know in the comments how to start dry brushing better, because I think I might need it in future Let's Paint. But oh uh, well. Um, yeah, see on film it looks quite good. Should. Uh, Start playing on film, might have better models to uh, look at. Well, um, so yeah, as you can see, my thumb's getting quite white with all the dry brushing. I uh, did some testing while the battery was recharging, but uh, my dry brushing is still not good enough. Well, yeah, good enough for scenery, anyhow. That's a good thing if you start painting scenery, you don't have to have as high standards as with the normal models you're going to play with. Yeah, so, yeah, you get the principle, I'll do it on the whole model, and be with you back in a sec. So after the dry brush disaster, I've tried to save the model, my dry brushing it's all quite a bit. We'll need to correct that afterwards, but yeah. 
So as you can see, the dry brushing has left quite some marks on the other areas of the model, areas it shouldn't be. So it's good that we didn't paint that yet. And uh, so, um, yeah, my actual overall plan for the model is to have yeah the concrete, and then all the edges of the model, the metal metal bits, uh, I will paint in black, and uh, the metal bits as well will be very dark. So overall, the model will be quite dark, and um, yeah, it won't very much. Um, take the attention away of your other models in uh, the game which is actually not bad for scenery it should be there and should be nice but it shouldn't take all the attention um, and to make it also stand out a tiny bit the eagle will be uh, in a different color so now we'll tidy up the uh, all the areas by painting them in black even the bits that shouldn't be in black but that's because um, they need to have a good solid background to uh, have the other paints on because right now it's a bit um, dusty and all that as you can see or not see in the video I don't think I can show it no you can't see it but oh well um, yeah so we'll um, be using Chaos Black on all it on all the cleaning up the edges I will later do in a kind of grayish to uh, make it stand out a bit. After the quick cleanup, we are going to um, wash all the concrete because it's a bit too white. So we're going to wash it with something dark, like Bada Black. Okay. Uh, now you don't really need that much because it's already dark and just needs to darken a little. So, just a quick going over should do. And yeah. So, yeah, the problem is on because uh, I've got this light, uh, it's either I can't see it very well or either you can't see it very well because uh, it reflects quite a bit on the paint but yes you should get the idea washing is one of the easiest things about painting quick and gets quite a nice um, the result is quite nice so you don't really need to be that neat because it's black and the uh, other side is also black, so you shouldn't really be seeing it much, and if you do see it, it kind of gives a weathered look to the metal as well. Not that much, but I think you would see that. Uh, as you can see, the bullet holes also gets, uh, go much more to their right. Not sure if that's correct, but you say that in Dutch anyway. Um, because of the wash. The whole eagle, why not? I'm gonna repaint him anyway. Okay, so that shouldn't be the whole model nearly. So, yeah, if you do get uh, quite some wash over it, you might as well wash it all because it might give a little effect, not much, but yeah, if it is little, you might as well um, do the whole thing because, like that. It's not that much. You can leave it like that. But otherwise, yeah, now uh, makes the whole thing look come together a bit more. Um, okay, so that sh should be all the sides. So uh, because we did the concrete, we can't work on it quite yet because I want to give maybe one more dry brush. Who knows? We'll see how it looks like. Um, but now we'll do uh, the metal, the black metal, to see, um, give it some edge highlights. Okay, so until then.
for this highlighting we shall be using Mechanica Standard Grey and we shall do edge highlighting because it gets a cleaner uh, edge highlight so it gives a fine line and sometimes you can see that's not enough so use either a little bit more paints or you um, use your points to do it it gives you a little bit more control so you have a little less the fine uh, crispness of the edge highlights but yeah like I said you have more control so you have uh, a bit more uh, intel on how the highlight looks like or if it's in situations like this it's very hard to do the edge highlighting because you'd come against other bits and then it's better to um, use your points. So you should try and do this for the whole model with the edge highlights all in the general same direction. So all here are going to be upwards and a bit more to the right. So uh, when it's finished uh, you'll see the result. Alright, all the edges have, done, have been done in grey and any faults that you could have made uh, you can always correct them with Chaos Black because the other coat is Chaos Black as well, so um, doesn't really stand out if you did. For instance, here I made a mistake, and as you can see, well, actually as you can't see, uh, there it, it looks like as if there was no mistake. And yeah, uh, as you can also see, I did the eagle in grey as well because we are going to make it white, and because it can't be that bright white because it's still rain. We're going to make the white so that the, it has grey uh, beneath it. So for the white of the eagle we're going to use Astronomicon grey. So it has this, yeah, it has that color and it goes well with the grey. So yeah. Um, again, you want to use the same technique as with the edge highlights. But um, you can use much more paint because um, you don't really want only the edge to be done, but the whole thing. But to make it look a bit more realistic, um, you can try to make it um, use edge paints. Um, so yeah, as you can see it works for the outer edges. A bit, but on the inner wings or inner feathers of the wings, you're going to have to use the points. Um, next up, we're going to finish off actually everything. Uh, all these extra steps are your own taste on how much paint you want on it, how bright you want to be, you want it to be. If you want any metal on it at all, or have any everything in the black, but. Yeah, so next time you see this, it will be finished. So here you have it, a finished Aegis defense line. It has all the metal bits done, it has the edges done, it has the concrete done. If you paint up a load of this, you'll have a very nice looking Aegis defense line. Thank you for watching and until next time.